the summer time has come and the trees are sweetly blooming and the wild mountain time grows around the purple heather will ye go go and we'll all go together to pluck wild mountain time all around the blooming heather will ye go lassie build my love a bower by unclear crystal fountain and around it i will pile all the flowers of the mountain will ye go lassie I'm Annie and I sing a cappella, and that was Wild Mountain Time. It was adapted into its original form by the Belfast, Ireland musician Francis McPeak, who lived from 1885 to 1971 and recorded his version of the song with his family in the 1950s. 
It was adapted into Wild Mountain Time from a prior song that was written sometime in the early 1800s, from what I can tell, uh, by the Scottish poet Robert Tannehill and the Scottish composer Robert Archibald Smith. Their song, version of the song, was called The Braes of Bowquitter, about the braes, or hills, of Bowquitter, I know. From what I could find, apparently Robert Tannehill, the one who wrote the lyrics of The Braes of Bowquitter, potentially adapted that song from a previous song, a folk song, known as The Braes of Bow Heather. It is believed that the song may be a reference to the old custom of women wearing either thyme, mint, or lavender up somewhere upon their person in order to attract a potential suitor, which is an interesting tidbit, and maybe. Um, obviously, the origin song references a place and seems to be something of a love song about Scotland. Some of the more famous recordings, or just some of the recordings, there's been so many covers of this song, including Ed Sheeran, that's one I did not write down, but other ones include Judy Collins, the Clancy Brothers, Joan Baez, Bob Dylan, Van Morrison, the Irish Rovers, and James Taylor. And that's all I have for you. <sighs> I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful day.